Hello everyone! Today we're going to see the true value of coffee. This farm is going to be a coffee farm and only a coffee farm. I want to see how many coffee plants I can have by the end of summer. It grows through spring into summer and the earliest possibility that I'm going to be able to get it would be Friday. So we're going to skip ahead to that and hopefully we can get some. The reason I want to try coffee is that it multiplies so fast. After 10 days it will give you several coffee beans which you can replant and then every two days after that it will give you more and more and more. So I think it'll get really big really fast and this might also tie into my million gold challenge series. And yes, my voice is feeling a little rough today so bear with me. There are two ways you can get coffee beans. One is from the dust sprites in the mine, they have a small chance of dropping it. And the traveling merchant who shows up Fridays and Sundays will often carry one. They are quite expensive, but this would be your first opportunity to get one. And there's one there for 2500. We'll pretend I got this the real way, so there's my very first coffee bean. So we'll go plant that bad boy and 10 days from now we'll start expanding our coffee empire. I am tempted to use speed grow on this to make it do its thing a little bit faster, but I'm not going to bother with it. Just gonna let it go the natural way. So simply gonna make a little spot somewhere here, plant the first bean and I am gonna put a scarecrow in place because I don't want to lose it. That will skew the result. Well here it is, my very first coffee plant. Or soon to be. From here it will expand. I was just gonna sleep for the next 10 days but then realized all the crap is growing pretty close to my one coffee bean so I'm gonna clear it back a little bit that way it doesn't grow into my coffee bean and kill it. Good enough, now I just hope for the best and I'll see you in 10 days. You know what, before I get too carried away, I'm really not in the mood for watering today so there's some sprinklers too to take care of this for me. Now I can just sleep and not worry about anything else. Well here it is, the first harvest. We'll take that and it will give me four more coffee beans. That means I can plant those in 10 days and they'll give me four each. So this is going to get really big really fast and I'm already starting to regret this idea. I wanted a quick easy video and this isn't going to be quick or easy. Because every two days now I've got to pick all these and replant them and that's only going to get bigger and bigger as we go. Every two days. It gets really big really fast but that's also really annoying really fast. I like how these all work in even numbers. You never have to worry about missing a day. Today was the first day that I've gotten a bigger harvest so I've got 20 of these to plant so every few days now there's going to be 20 more. Well here we are the first of summer. The last month of these even can grow but look how many we're getting every day now. I think we're up to almost 40 every two days. This disaster of a field is an accurate representation of my brain today. But I am now getting 166 coffee beans already every two days and that number grows up big time every day. The 11th of summer, not even halfway through and I think by the time I'm done this, this might actually cover my entire field. This is growing at a very rapid rate. Just today, there's over 500 coffee beans produced and this is actually taking a lot of time to lay these all down but I'm gonna do it. 500 today, I wonder how many tomorrow is gonna give me. I've realized now that I don't even need to bother with scarecrows because even if I lose a few it's not gonna matter because if I'm getting 500 every two days and that number is growing, then I'm gonna have more than I can even put in my field so no problem. Today on the 15th of summer I've gotten over a thousand coffee beans. I've got about 1100 of them and it would only take a few days at this rate to fill the entire field and I've still got a few days where I can plant and they'll still grow all the way to the maturity. This little corner right here, this is the only spot I have left to actually fill with seeds. I really didn't expect it to expand this fast and if I had known when I started I probably wouldn't have done it because I didn't want this stupid idea to take this long. And to put the cherry on top, the dog's in my way. I don't even know what he's doing in the house. It does work out just in time though today my field will be full and they still get 10 days and they'll still give me another harvest after that so it all works out. And there we are. I'm gonna call that good enough. I'm not gonna get that little corner there. I'm not gonna remove scarecrows or sprinklers because I just don't feel like it. The field is full. I will get that spot however. The field is full and I have a surplus 1500 or so coffee beans and I've still got another 12-13 days to harvest these so we'll see how many we get and we'll see what they're worth all in one bunch. This was the first day of strictly harvesting, no planting because there's not really any more room so we're looking at about 2,000 almost 3,000 coffee beans just from that and we're still going strong we got more days to go. I really really hate this idea right now and I'm still gonna do this for several more days. Every day it gets a little more worse than the last day. Plus my crops, they keep getting hit by lightning and dying, but I don't really care about that anymore. I'm going to have so many of these that I really don't know how much these are going to be worth. They might actually be fairly valuable. Today, we've just about got it. These ones are all done over here. It's only this last little bit that I planted on that last day that's not ready to go yet. So many coffee beans. So much coffee. Well, it was fun while it lasted. I wish I had planned that out a little better but I really did not expect the result I got and I'm just not really in a very big planning mood today. This whole thing took a lot longer than I thought. I just want to show you the field so hopefully you guys can appreciate how much work this took. Way more than I wanted it to. But the result 
Look at all this coffee. That chest is pretty much full of coffee. This chest is pretty much full of coffee. And these ones didn't get full. But I've got to put these all in the bin now. So we'll see what this is all actually worth finally. The last of them are in the bin. Let's sleep on it. See what we got. Keep in mind this all started from one single coffee bean only two months ago. Not even two months ago. And it only costed 2500 to start. I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty big number. So the total is 883,000. Like I said, that's 883,000 gold that started from a single coffee bean. Just 2,500 gold is all it took. If you managed to get one even sooner somehow, you could get even a few more harvests because those last few were the most valuable. The field was finally full. Or if you were to carry this into next year, you could make giant amounts of money all the time. So that definitely adds more possibility to the million gold challenge. Of course, you could make some money outside of the coffee. Coffee does take up a lot of time by the end, but coffee is awesome and worth it. All you'd have to do is make up another 120,000 gold over two seasons. That wouldn't be that hard to do. All right, well, that was a lot of fun. I don't ever want to play this ever again. I'm so sick of harvesting and planting and harvesting and planting. So I hope you liked it. Thanks for watching.